Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is Money Monday and I want to talk about um, how our habits, our money habits, might have been informed by uh, how we grew up. Now Dave Ramsey talks about how um, taking charge of uh, your money goals and, and daily spending is really all about changing your behavior. And uh, so I sort of took some time to think about my relationship with money and how I grew up with money and how I, um, what my choices that I made as an adult uh, was informed by what I observed growing up. Uh, I come from an Asian background and um, the stereotype of Asians being really savvy with money is true in, in uh, my, my father's sense. Um, he worked for a major airline here in Canada uh, in the maintenance department and um, worked very hard um, and was very, very thrifty. Um, mom was a stay-at-home mom for the most part. I mean, she was a registered nurse by training, but uh, after my brother was born, she chose to be a stay-at-home mom. Um, so, Dad earned the cash and would give Mum an allowance, and then the rest he would keep for savings and investing and stuff. Um, as kids, though, what we saw was Mum um, feeling the, the purse strings. Time, so tight. she was, you know, always forced to make um, do with the cheapest cuts of meat or the cheapest vegetables and fruits, um, and very few treats as it were. I mean, we rarely had chips in the house or things like that. Um, and as I grew older, you know, mom would often say, oh Irene, all you have to do is get a good job and be independent and then you can buy yourself nice things. So that's kind of what I grew up with. Um, my mom has since passed away and my dad has done very well financially. Uh, so he was a very savvy investor and so his, in his retirement um, he has achieved the goal of what Dave Ramsey would call dignified retirement. Um, he has um, good, a good home and uh, in a very good location and uh, he lives a very comfortable life now. So looking back at uh, that, you know, I really admire the sacrifices he made, but at the same time, I was never informed of the day-to-day -day choices that he made and that my mom made um, to achieve that goal. All I could see was the, oh Irene, just get a good job and be independent and you can buy yourself nice um, things. For my husband, he has a learning disability in the spatial visual category, so um, aligning numbers uh, gives him great anxiety. Uh, going to the bank, uh, he gets very nervous, and even you know between the two of us when we talk, he gets very defensive and um, anxious uh, when we talk about um, what how how things have happened whether, you know, in the day-to-day -day or in the long-term. Um, he grew up seeing both sides of affluence and poverty. Um, maybe not extreme, extreme poverty, but um, his dad was a CMA uh, uh, in a major tech company uh, for a long time, and they had beautiful houses, beautiful exotic things. vacations, and then he was laid off, and for, I don't know the specifics, but for a good long time, they had no income at all, and um, in fact had to withdraw out of their retirement savings in order to uh, make ends meet and get by. And they, you know, they did the craft shows and um, odd jobs, anything to earn a little bit of extra cash. Um, the toughest thing was, you know, going to a, a, a regular retail store for a job and nobody would hire because you are overqualified. 
Um, so, you know, he went from not exactly the lap of luxury, but, you know, affluent to very poor and um, scrimping and saving. And um, so he's seen both sides and in his subconscious, I think he sees, he views money as providing for the affluent lifestyle. So how does that relate to how my husband and I communicate about money today? Well, when we were first married, we, my husband was more than happy to relinquish the reins of responsibility as it were um, of all the banking and the spending and stuff like that, the sort of money managing. Um, and I was happy to take it on. I mean, we were newly weds, in love, um, so I was happy to sort of ease that burden um, from him and uh, take it on. However, I was also completely ignorant. I had no idea about budgets or, or um, sinking funds, emergency funds. I knew that you know you should be saving a little bit to sort of handle, uh, take on um, rainy day it problems, but. On the, on the whole, it wasn't really something that I understood. All I knew was that we had to have the money to pay the bills and a little bit for groceries and entertainment and we could coast along just fine. And if we had, didn't have the funds for something, we would just use a credit card or go into the line of credit. Um, so that's kind of how we lived for a good long time. Um, now that we are on the Dave Ramsey system, the talk of discipline um, is a lot greater. Um, we, we both have different spending systems. Um, I use the cash envelope system, which I've talked in a previous video about. Um, and my husband has a separate checking account that's actually at a separate bank so from our regular uh, account where all the bills come out of um, and this way he can't easily dip into the savings account um, to sort of pad his own um, spending account uh, and then he also on top of that has uh, a, an app on his phone called Mint and that app is linked to his checking account so that whenever he spends something, say if it's on dry cleaning, um, Mint will see that transaction and put it into the dry cleaning category. Uh, and then if he you know, grabs a coffee at Starbucks, it'll go into the coffee and food category and uh, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that's helping to keep him accountable without me having to um, nag about it. <laughs> So that's where we're at right now. Um, money is so difficult to talk about with your spouse or partner. It's such a dry topic and it's draining and um, not fun. But I think it's a necessity um, and I believe that as we slowly achieve all, all these goals, these baby steps, that we will feel encouraged by it and that our relationship will be stronger by it because um, that, you know, just knowing that you can talk with your spouse about these dry and awful topics uh, and feel safe about it um, rather than threatened, um, it will, you know, will pull out of it uh, stronger than before. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video and if you did please like it and uh, subscribe and I'll see you guys again on Friday. Bye!